Welcome to Audible Stories, The Magic in the World. Once upon a time, there lived a boy who was raised by his father. His father was a loving, generous man, and though he was poor, he taught his son to love life and be nice. The world is full of magic, he said, if we keep our eyes wide open and look out for it. Alas, when the boy was only ten, his father died, and he was all alone in the world. He found work for a farmer, and always worked as hard as he could, and he sang, the world is full of magic, as he worked. A greedy man who was one of his fellow worker in farmland always, envied the young boy. This greedy man was lazy, and he liked to crib and complain and get others in trouble. The world is full of magic. Keep your eyes open and look for the magic, the boy always told his fellow workers. When the greedy man noticed that the farmer gave the best jobs and fed him the finest cuts of meat to this young boy, he decided he must get rid of the young boy. And so, one day the greedy man spilled every bucket of milk in the goat barn. When the farmer saw the mess, he said, Who has done this? The greedy man looked down at the ground. Tell me, the farmer said. The greedy man just shook his head. If you do not tell me who has caused this trouble, I will fire you, he threatened. The man shook his head. I cannot tell, he said. He is too young to lose this job. The farmer then understood that the culprit must be the young boy. That very day he let the young boy go. And so, the young boy was without a job. But instead of complaining, he set off traveling around the country, searching for the magic in the world. He hired himself to this farmer and that miner and to that merchant. For long years he worked hard scraping together a living. One night, after a long day of labor in a coal mine, he fell asleep. As he slept, he dreamed of an old woman sitting by a fire. I am your good fortune my child, the woman said. As you are traveling, you will meet a stranger. Make sure you help him, no matter how strange the request you hear. When he woke, he smiled, for he sensed this was the magic he sought. He at once set off on his way. As he walked along the road, he suddenly heard footsteps behind him. He turned to see a young man rushing toward him, calling, Hello senor, senor please help me. My wife is having a baby, and we have no godfather. Please, will you be my child's godfather? This was surely a strange request, indeed. But, mindful of his dream, the young boy agreed, and he hurried with the young man to his home. The baby was a beautiful little girl with wild curls and a face as bright as the full moon, and the young boy was announced as the official godfather. That night the little girl's father, excited to sleep, began to tell the young boy tales of strange dreams he had been having. I dreamed I was to travel to the very center of the Black Desert. There I was to find a ball of yarn, toss it over my shoulder and follow it wherever it led, and it would take me to a genie who would reward me with all the money and gold I could ever desire. The young man now chuckled to himself. Of course there are no such things as genies, he said. It was a foolish dream. But you ought to go, the young boy said. We must keep our eyes and hearts wide open, for there is magic in this world. The young man laughed, 
So, you do believe in dreams, he said. Now the young boy could not stop thinking of the desert and the ball of yarn and the genie. So he decided and asked the young man if he could visit to the black desert in his place. The young man at once agreed and said, Surely you can go, now you are my child's godfather. This he did, and before long he reached the black desert, he came upon a ball of yarn. He tossed the yarn over his shoulder, and followed it. Sure enough, there, in the very center of the desert, he found a genie. He approached and introduced himself. Dreams have sent me to find you, he said. I am the godfather of the little girl and I was wondering if you have money that you are supposed to give to her father. The genie led the young boy to a cave, and there they came upon sacks and sacks of gold. This is all yours, the genie said. Thank you, the young boy replied graciously. He worked for many days, constructing a wagon. He loaded his wagon with the gold and pulled it all the way to his goddaughter's home. This is our wealth, he announced to the young man and his wife. It is the fortune of which you dreamed. The young man and his wife were amazed, and so very grateful that they gave the young boy half of their fortune. Without you, we would have nothing, they said. And so the young boy became a wealthy man. But he continued to travel. Everywhere he went, he shared his wealth, and he taught people to keep their eyes wide open, watching for the magic in this world. If you like the story, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for listening.